Hello everyone, welcome back to LaRock's Cooking Adventure. Why are you all cheesed up over there? I don't know. <laughs> we are here with Nana LaRock and of course your host LaRock. And today, Nana LaRock is going to show you guys how to make... Chicken salad. Alright, so let's get right into this guys. Okay, so here we have a, a fresh 6 ounce chicken breast. We have one stalk of butter, or butter, <laughs> celery, which is chopped up here. We have half of an onion. We have half red onion, make sure it's red. Um, we have half a cup of red grapes, seedless. We have about two ounces of pecans. We have about a cup of mayo. We have mayonnaise. We have some seasonal and ground white pepper. So I'm going to start by cutting this open. I believe that is six portions of six ounce chicken breast. We have a bit much because we're going to make a big pile. So we have some boiling water over here that we're going to boil for about four to five minutes. You guys can also bake the chicken, but it might turn out a little dry if you decide to. Is there any other type of chickens you can use for this? Uh, yes, you can use canned chicken or a rotisserie chicken from the store. Or any other chicken that you might have left over that you want to uh, use up. So as long as the chicken is cooked, you can basically use any kind of chicken. We're going to set that timer for about five minutes and just let it boil and cook through. All right. Okay, so the timer is going off, so the chicken is done. It's been about 15 minutes, so now we're gonna put it on a plate. It's been about, or it's been 15 it's minutes. It's been 15 minutes, correct. Yes, it was 15 minutes, so we have a little bit of a correction because I believe we said it would take five minutes to boil, so we set the timer for five minutes, and then we set it for another five minutes, and then we set it for a third five minutes. So in total, it was 15 minutes to boil. So what's your next step? Next, we're going to put the chicken in the freezer so that it can cool down. Okay. Because we don't want to cut it hot. Now guys, when you do this at home, um, you can just put it in the refrigerator, but me and Nana are super short on time. It's late, so you gotta get home. We gotta eat dinner and we're behind the eight ball. So we're gonna put it in the freezer for about three or four minutes, maybe five. It might be a little bit warm when we get back, but it is what it is. It's the Rock's Cooking Adventures. So this now goes into the freezer. Okay, so the chicken is out of the freezer now and we're gonna start cutting it. Cut it into slices first, and then we're gonna dice it. Work, shawty, work. You got that. And you gotta see how she's cutting. I would lose my shit if we was in a restaurant like that, because what I don't like the way how she's doing this, not to her fault, because she's new to this, She's got the fingers like this, so this can get cut off like that. Boom, you see what I just did to that nail, the sharp knife? Okay, so when you're holding your products, you want to do what I call the hawk claw. This looks like the foot of a hawk. You want to hold your fingers like this so that the knife will slide off the edge of your fingers and definitely not cut you like that. Like that. You see how I had it like that? Okay, so guys, don't cut yourselves at home. Hope you got good insurance. Nana, don't you cut yourself either, even though we do have good insurance. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. Work. Work. 
Yeah. That piece is going to be a little difficult. Yeah. Give it more of the front edge of the knife. Bring that knife back. Okay, right there. Yeah. Mm. Cutting. Okay. Don't worry, your salad. It's going to be chopped up anyway. You got it. Okay, let me see. So this little piece like this. I'm just going to hack it up. So that's why you didn't have to be all fancy with a boot. Boot. My baby boot. Okay. Now these just, you know, like that. Chicken salad, small pieces so nobody chokes out. Blah! those fingertips there you go hawk claw like how the bird goes in and gets the fish yeah. like that watch those fingers all right cut a couple of those down because remember we don't want to choke now I've been served uh, chicken salad before that did have chunks like that some people prefer nice big meaty chunks now me on the other hand I don't have no teeth so, I need it to be conveniently cut small. Watch that thumb piece. No worries. But what I do want you to do is cut it fully. Cut it. Don't try to smash it down. Just cut. Use more of this tip of this, this blade. Use more of this tip. That thumb is in position, right? That's where the power is, right? That's where the handle and control is. Cut. Yes. Yes. Yes, little girl. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. Yes. There we go. Let me see your thumb. Let me see. Okay. Give me more pressure here. Tighter. There. Guys, I was telling Nena that when you hold the knife, right? You can't see. Let me switch, switch sides with me. You want to put that thumb right there. Right there. And then the index finger right there. Or the pointed finger, I'm sorry. Right there, right? This is where the power is. This is where the control is. The handle. If you hold the knife like this, uh-uh, uh-uh. We don't want to do all that. We want to hold and control this knife and then place our hand on the handle. We want to hold that firm like that, okay? Like that, okay? That's what we want to do there. Okay? That's what we want to do. Firm. Watch those fingertips. Okay, beautiful. Now we have a couple big pieces that I particularly don't really like. Because again, like I said, I already told y'all I ain't had no teeth. So I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. Just a rough hat through the whole thing. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Work. Work the rock. Like that. Like that. Like that. Okay. Work. Okay. Work. Okay. All right, now, now, what's your next move? So next we're gonna put everything into this bowl and we're gonna mix it up. Okay, so first we're gonna start with our seasoning and we're gonna use about half a teaspoon. This okay. is the seasonal. Just gonna start with that. Always adjust your season, start small and go big. That's definitely not enough, but we're gonna start with that, like she said. And next we're gonna use some ground white pepper. 
A different teaspoon. Okay, go ahead and put one more of each in. One more. No. So a half teaspoon and half teaspoon is one, one full teaspoon. Okay. Now guys, when you drop your seasonings on your food, you know, try to spread it out some. And don't drop it all on the same little particular spot. Just because you don't want that that one section of your product to be a little bit over seasoned. You know how you bite something and you're like, oh wow, this one has that taste. Okay, so what's next, Nana? I can smell that pepper, it's banging. I know. <laughs> so next we have half an onion and a whole celery stalk, but we split it in half just because we may not need all of it and we don't want to add it all right away. All right, so we had half of a small red onion. That was a small red onion, and we're using half of the half. So a quarter of a red onion. That looks about right. And then, and then uh, celery stock, as she said, was one full celery stock. Okay, that looks good. <laughs> Next, we're going to add, um, this is half a cup of red grapes. We're probably going to need all, all of it. So That was, um, I did count them. What did we count? 20? 20, 20 small was, grapes? Yeah, 20, 25. These, no, 20. 20. These were 20 teeny grapes. They were real small. And I cut them in half, and then I cut the halves in half. So these are quartered, quartered grapes. Yeah? Okay. Uh, next we have, what is it, two ounces of the pecans. And I'm going to crush them just a little because they're a little big. All of these ingredients are according to taste, so these aren't exact measurements. As I always tell you guys, do it how you like. I just give you a base guideline of what it is we're doing. But I always say, do it to your preference, do it to your liking. No recipe is an exact recipe to how you like things done. And remember, you're the ones that have to eat this, your guests. So, we'll give you a base, and then you take it from there. And lastly, we have a cup of mayonnaise, but we're just going to add a couple spoonfuls at a time, and we're going to mix. Make sure not to crush your grapes either, because we don't want smashed grapes. I like smashed grapes. I like it. I like it. I like grapes. I'm going to add some more. So, so far I've used about half a cup. We don't want it real dry. As my trailer rock would say, dry is dry. That salad, draw. Look good, babe. Work, man, now work. <laughs> good. Um, okay. Gotta add a little more. How much season did we have? Absolutely. We had. A teaspoon. a teaspoon of each? Yeah. Okay. Now, I would recommend for sure adding at least another teaspoon, half a teaspoon of uh, seasonal. Not the pepper. Remember, pepper is a hard spice. Mm. 
One teaspoon or half? Half. Just start. Remember. Yeah. Always gradually add, then taste it in. That looks good. Looks good. We've almost used that whole cup. Almost. About three fourths. If you'd like yours uh, really wet, then go ahead and use the whole cup. But remember, this is six, six ounce chicken breasts. 16 ounces is a pound. Six times six is 36, 36 ounces. Now by 16, that gives you two pounds and a few ounces. But it was actually two pounds even because I weighed it. So, one of these, a couple of these breasts, I don't know which one was, a little lighter than six ounces. But it's all good. This is actually two pounds of chicken breast. If you want to be exact, which I don't ever be. Pretty much used almost all of it. Yeah? It's going to be wet. It's going to be nice. What does it taste like, mama? Need any seasoning? Any That's salt? Good. Any something yeah. different? Maybe you don't like the season. Hefe. What do you think? I think it's good. Doesn't need anything? No, I think we're good. Alright. So you're just going to play with it or we're going to do something with it? Okay, I'm trying to form it a little. So, I'm gonna this in. we have a couple different options that we can do for the actual salad part of serving. Um, here I have two croissants. One is um, for like sandwiches if you're hungry for like a meal, or these ones could be for like a party as like an appetizer or something. Mini sandwich. Um, so, I'm just gonna cut it. Make sure not to go all the way because that's not good. <laughs> you don't yeah. want to open it all the way. Right, because you don't want it to rip open the other side. Girl, are you nervous to not know what? Look at I'm you really shaking. Not. You need a drink no. or something? I need a drink. Daddy need a drink. I'm right. Daddy need a drink. Uh, did I take your spoon? Yeah. Okay. Let's open it up and make like a little pocket. Little pocket. Lock it. Lock it. Okay. So now we're just going to add some into the bread. Rico the Rock. Make sure that it's full and that you have everything in the actual salad inside the croissant. Like that. And I'm going to do the same for the big one. Sure, we get some of the celery there too. Some more. Like this. And here are two different sized breads that you could use for the actual sandwich. And with the um With the lettuce for maybe vegetarian options, you could make like a wrap. Rick on the rock. Where you at? Right here. Bien y cuy. 
scoop some of that into the lettuce. That's a good idea. Come say hi to the people. Over here. They over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come around here. Hi. Say hi to the people. Hi, people. Oh, too short. Wave it though. You're looking crazy to the mom. Wave. And Wait, Rico. Where's your stool? There's a wrap. Okay, come on. Come say hi to the people. This the was a good idea. <laughs> little wrappy wrap situation. Mm -hmm. So the last way that you could is put these onto a platter. Lettuce leaves, I think they're called, right? Leaf? Leaf leaves. Mm-hmm. We're gonna cut the middle part so that's not too bulky. Take your knife, cut it down so everything lays flat. Rico. Rico! Mm -hmm. Get out of here. Say bye to the people. Bye. You gotta go get in the bed. You get in the bath, hmm? All right, ciao. Good night. And <laughs> we're gonna mm. add the rest into the center. No, no. Hmm? This is very good. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Oh my God. <laughs> what in the heck was that? I, I'm not really sure, but it's, it's okay. It's mm -hmm. still edible. She's learning. One day she'll have it all. She'll be better than me. But next time, ladies, lay them all nice, flat, perfect, and beautiful. You know how I get with my food. So, boom. That's that. What happened? Why does it look like we're not, not into the situation okay i got an idea for that that plate needs something i'm gonna try to shape these around a little Make it look right. <laughs> put it um put it uh, uh, on the, put it in the front. Okay. Up top. Okay. I got my idea. Got that this on. How about this? This is something for a nice little quick party you might have. Relatively cheap, not too uh, expensive, and actually pretty fast to do. This might look like it took us a minute, but if we did, if we weren't filming this, this this would have been knocked out quick. This is something like I said, inexpensive, and in the end, it tastes great and it should look pretty, just with this fruit alone to garnish it. A little bit. Maybe a couple more blueberries? I don't know. Or, or what you think? Jeff? Yeah. A couple more blueberries. Okay. Work it out. These strawberries and fruit are just going to take up the negative space on this platter. And or for the amount of salad that you have, using an appropriate size serving dish. 
This serving dish was a little bit too big for this, but it's all right. We're doing it for you. We doing it for you. Cause it's like 10 15 at night. Okay. And we ain't eat dinner because this is dinner. Somebody's gonna get fired, and then somebody's gonna be me. Okay. So, no no. Yes. Looks good. Did you taste it? Taste it for the people. Drop low. Let them see you taste it. <laughs> Not that low. Wow. Does anybody see you? Yeah. Good. So, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it. And those of you who are just tuning in for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. So this is Nena's Chicken Chowley. I'm going to grab this camera and see if I can give you a closer look without destroying anything. Spin around. Okay. How you guys like that? Drop us some comments. Giving them a couple words of encouragement. She's doing good, though. It's my baby. I've been training her. That's what's going on here. Good job, shawty. Besito. Okay. So, say bye to the people. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Till the next adventure. La Rock is out. Uh, La Rock's out. Bye. Ciao. Edit.